Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Ramic here and we are back here with a video. I know I've been absent. I know. Wait, you don't you don't need to tell me that in the comments. You don't need to say where have the videos been? I know. Wait. I had to take some time off. Like I, I personally thought I deserved it. Like, you know. But Stonehoff is back. One of the most iconic things on this channel. If you don't know, Stonehoff is sort of what got me like on quite a few subscribers if I do so say so myself. Which I'm not sure how I can explain it. Like, Stonehoff is one of those things which nobody watched, but a lot of people complimented. And to me that's sort of a really strange type of mess, and you can just see the concept art. No one really wants to get back into this game. So let's watch the new game. So right, this is the story of Grey Fan of Cecilus from Now You Can Choose here. Whether we want to be in the desert or the Earthworld. Now, I'm going to be doing um, two series on this. After I finish this series, I'm going to do the Riot's Children one, which is more like place. But mate, we're going to be doing the Ascendancy. A prosperous and industrious kingdom. Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to. Now we get to choose whether you go to desert or temperate. We're going to go to temperate, because that's the thing. So they set off to Dartmoor Forest, the location which is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. This, that's just the game's way of letting you know, hey, you're gonna get really messed over in this game. Right. So, I'm just gonna look for it. I did this in the first few videos on Stone Off. I really thought this is a to read on. Right, I'm trying to find the iconic Neuramic Hearthling. Like, this is literally a Hearthling which looks like me. These are called Hearthlings, by the way. I deal with it. That's like something I say. And we have duplicates. And we have more du- No! Axel Wenzel. I hate it. I hate it when I draw new stuff. Oh, right. It looks like Crazy Kips. He's an awesome thing. Oh. And it's called Sips. That's the most ironic thing ever. Looks like Crazy Kips, named after Sips. If you know this through YouTube channels, if you don't, go check them out there. You are awesome. If I do say so myself anyway. Why? Well, I, I, can't, I can't keep him. Anyway, all of the, I'm, I need to look for a band of citizens which looks about. Belly. Like, I'm trying to do some of the names and it I which this is literally me playing far forward every single day on Facebook. Right, let's do this. Let's try and find like the is it me or do the girls look like they've come out of some sort of cloning machine? Oh we have clones. Attack of the clones. That film was terrible. I, I like watched that like never. Like I what I don't know why. Like I mean, someone's gonna pity me for not watching that film because I heard the prequels are terrible. Like, right. It might just be me. It might be the game wanting me to really not start this series again. Right. But I cannot seem to find my iconic Neuramic Hearthling. We had him once, and then we literally just went straight past him, and that guy, which. You know what? Let's call him. So right, we got wait, we got cubic neramic up in there. Neramic or neramic? I accept either one. Right. Um. Right. Who who else can we play it on? Right. Um. It's gonna be Sam Floor. Right, and these are references to Seatubes, by the way. Um. And that could be Hazard. There you go. Right, anybody? I don't. Ugh, fonts. I hate you. It's literally no one else I would think. Like, I could just name. I could just name after people at craft. Um. Yep. Got. Um. Right. Actually, you know what? Right. That's Nick. That's Vic. It's Vic Thor. Right. Um. Alright, we've almost finished everything, right. That can be purple, please. And, um... This can be... Mathilda. Nailed it. Right, what are we gonna buy for the start of this? Like, it gives you gold that you can choose to buy or not buy. Alright, here was your Instagraphic band message. Right, okay. Right, you see, I, I don't trust herbalism. 
Like, if, you, if you're gonna go good old Heisenberg, you might as well not have a herbalist staff at all. Right, um... I think, I think we're gonna buy Trapper's Knife, because we really need food. It's not. It's like the worst thing to ever exist. Anyway, I'm gonna find a good map. I'll be right back with you some more footage. Right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, I had to go for my lunch during that call. At the moment, I could. Uh, I had to go for my lunch. Now, I have no idea where we might want to start. It's like... The way I can see is that the foothills have, like... This sort of like promise to me, but like there's just one that little issue. Like I'm not sure. Like it'll be too close. Like what is they called? The plains. Like I suppose we could actually start it off here. This way. What is? Yeah. Never mind. So it um, looks like I'm never gonna find out that biome. I didn't write the new care. I really am. I do love this concept. Though. It's like oh my god, it like really sort of brings the game to life. Like you get to like know the game. Like how everything's designed, in a way, but like, you also get like a hint at mobs that are yet to come. Right. I had something to talk about and I really can't mention it. Oh yeah, there we go. So, as many of you know, I promised a video on a game called Restaurant Express now. It was called Restaurant State 2016, and another game called Clash Royale. Uh, those are two videos that are taking longer than usual, for one specific reason in particular. Lose up to the pain in the butt to record with. Let alone get the little side strips. I really cannot like find time to record it. Oh, it feels like Grand Theft Auto and it feels like it's a reboot to the channel. Time, but I am hating myself for doing. Ooh. So is it Stone Half Series Two? There will never be Stone Half Series Two. I just want to say that there'll be like Overworld and Rise Children. I'm pretty sure the episode's water name. Anyway, it's inflating trees because we all have rubber trees in our back garden. Also, I am thinking of doing a commentary. It's not like the 100 subscribers commentary, like um, like commentaries on games like um, Throwville. Like if anybody knows what that game is, I salute you. You must have had a great childhood like I did doing that. Right, so we've got some nice areas to build with around there. I, I did choose the iconic spot. Who could have guessed? I'm in a remic, after all. Right, let's put let's put our town band down here. What are we gonna call this? Let's call it Nerfville. Right. So basically, if you don't know what Stone Half is, it's like a um, Animal Crossing type thing. That's how I came to about it. I literally searched them um, um, a new Animal Crossing game, and boom, Stone Half shows up. Right. So it you know it gives you kind of this nice UI. It's all like really blocky, that's why I named it Cubic Neuramic. It's all like really cuby. Also, I know a lot of people don't like Stone Half, but they're gonna have to get used to it because. See, it's, not, it's a nice thing to record. Right, anyway, we got a nice like foundation up here. So, um, if, oh, look at that animation. Look at that swinging axe animation right there. I have watched some of their developer live streams. They do do developer live streams, I search. Stone half the Velpo live stream, you'll find them. I mean, it's called the Velpo live stream. You should pretty much found that, right? Let's get a resource pile for resources and let's get a plant. I know why in a minute. Anyway, we should be able to promote someone right now. Now, look, look who should we promote? Like, there's literally so many people to promote. Like, we've got Mathilda. We've got Mathilda. I, I, now I think about it, that was pretty in the of me to do that. I mean, I've got spam buttons. Oh, I haven't played this in so long, and I feel so sad for myself that I haven't. Well, Mathilda can now be our town carpenter. And, um, let's enslave purple poison. That, that doesn't even... Doesn't even... I don't I don't even anymore. <laughs> I, I try to do little YouTuber Easter eggs for YouTubes I watch, and... The game entirely just throws that back in my face. Right, Mathilda. Like, now. Well, thanks for the unbroken UI you have for that game. Truly can grasp the true essence of Stoneheart when you get those little errors. Now, I try to think that she drags me with like way, like, way much, too, way too much simpsy. But that's, that's like my only excuse, really, for that, right? Anyway, who wants to begin the mass slaughter of animals in the forest? Right. Anyway, we've got our foods coming in. Our foods coming in steadily. Now, one of the best things about this game 
is that it comes with building templates. It comes with four. Might not be that much, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, and you guys are going to love this series. I sound like I'm like becoming like really irritating to people. Oh, yeah, they actually managed to pull down ladders. Now, let's see if they can harvest berries. Because berries are the first thing that you usually want to like ha harvest because before you start like working on everything. Anyway, oh, awesome. Not carpenter. Boom. This lock pile. Genius. Alright, a good little travel approach is right. It gave us two rabbit jerky. Let's speed things up a bit. Now, there are monsters in this, but I believe they come on like night too. Which is where I believe I'm going to end off the video. So we're going to have some like nice little monsters come and try and murder us. How adorable. Now I have, a, I have like a little worry that they are not ever going to climb up this ladder. Like I don't think they're going to climb a ladder carrying those. Which is why. Right, are you ready for this guys? I'm going to put some food stockpile down here. Now, I might actually, yeah, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that food stockpile for a few more minutes. We need to start working on constructing stuff, so we're going to make one of them and one of them. Right, we are now successfully going to have a farmer and a fighter. I'm a survivor. Hallelujah. Alright. We haven't even begun building yet, which is awesome, because, I mean, hey, we haven't even begun building yet. And we're also, oh, GG Mathilda, you got an extra sp Plus 10 health. Right. Who are we going to enslave even more? Like, Mathilda and Purple plays are literally on a... Right, you know what? Hazard, you're going to PvP. Let's put you as a swordsman. It says Haya, by the way. And... I have a feeling Sam Fulv can be a farmer. Also, check out all these guys' channels, by the way. They're awesome. Like, this is like a little self-promotion. I don't trust myself anymore. <laughs> right, let's uh, make a nice little, let's make a nice little set my turn area. And what are we gonna put in here? Wow, it's a lot of stuff. Right, I have no idea what to do. Anyway, I just need to pause on it because someone's asking for some beer about. I'm sorry about that. There's gonna be quite a few cuts in this video, mainly because of um, well, it's food, it's food time. Like everyone's having food, so. Like, which game of family came back for shopping and all. What sort of kick side off from there? Anyway, time to figure out what we're going to do with this, right? I have a feeling we're going to do turnips there and, um, it's sort of, um, there we go, um, let's select carrots because they're next down. So we're going to have a nice little, um, farm for Sam Forth to enslave on. See, I can remember the names all about them. Right, there we go. Let's just sort of make a nice little. 20 by 20 farm, am I right? Probably. Like, I usually find myself being right. And, like, am I the only person here? What do I love being cocky when I'm right? Like, I'm gonna literally just, like, say something and I'll just be like, you know what's wrong with them? Like, I'll be like, 1v1 me Google battle. And then, like, the next thing I know is, um, I'm right and I just put on, like, the smuggest smile ever. Uh, so, it's, I just find it f amusing, but, like I usually find myself doing that. Anyway, we should. All right, yay! All right, we got our nice little friend here. Friendship is magic. Remember, kids. Remember, kids. Watch Friendship is magic. Right. Well, trying to figure out a nice place to put some. Oh, they're all on the floor having campfire stories. Right now, if I remember how to do this correctly, right, press this. I should have a perfect thumbnail. Ready? Boom. I, I love that little feature. Because now I can go on the MP4 file, grab that thing, and use that as a thumbnail. Like, Sun Off is like, hands down, this one thing which keeps giving when you think you ran out of stuff. And also, listen to this music. Like, it's a little, nice little background thing. I'll turn my voice down a little bit in. I am editing this video anyway. Like, just so you can like hear the nice like music in the game. I I am in love with the music of this game. But like sometimes sometimes like the music just is the worst thing to have. Like, it, I mean it's not bad. But sometimes what it does is just too funny. Like, 
You know, there's been someone that's died, and um, and there's just this soothing, calm music as their corpse, you know, rots away on the ground. And it's the, it's like the most iconic thing. I call it Stone Hole for Music Troll. And that should be the actual term for in-game. Anyway, right, Sandfall, you can you can kind of fly there. Right, we've passed day one. Well, we passed, you know, for a cycle, and we got a daily update. Yeah, so if you don't know what daily update is, that was practically assessing me whether I should be responsible for more, um, more people. So that is no. Never put me in charge of people. Anyway, let's check these piles. Right, okay. Um, um, wait, did I have? Yeah, there we go. Right, ideal stockpiles. Um, but I really, I, I can't get over how Stonehearth has these little floors, which I turn out to be awesome. Like, they could cover up the thumbnail opportunity button. Oh, I don't care. No. Also, guys, some of you think of um, seeing a mine colony as a playthrough. There's like multiple mine colonies. They've like tested for it. Like, I have a beta test for the mine colonies mod. It's like a, it's like a remake of the mine colony. It was an awesome mod, by the way. Just saying, you know, I might wanna. <laughs> yeah. I ran out words. Anyway, yay! Hey, everything's going well. We have like a nice little village going on. But you know what we don't have? We don't have we don't have houses. This is where building templates comes in. So you have seven like villages. Like I don't trust myself with any life. Right, you know what? Um uh, where is it? Tiny cottage. Right, this can be farmer's cottage. It's the farmer's cottage. Finish editing. Now what do we need? Oh, we can need some of that stuff. Right. Hey, right. not to remember if I can make it right. Right, right. gotta keep remembering. That's all, that's like something you're gonna hear a lot. So I usually have a tendency to forget things, and when I forget things, I tend to get stressed. But like everybody will pitch in on this cottage, Un unless they wanna be thrown out the window. Wait, did, did that say wooden chair? I oh no, that, that it said wooden. Anyway, right, carpenter, how you doing? Right, oh, there we go. I think, I think, yeah, people are just bringing down wood now. Awesome. I love how it's like in this little, little enclosure, like they can literally go to bed, like a few sec for a few seconds. Right. Anyway, let's sort of plot this out. I'm just gonna end really badly. Right, I just need to watch that. Be right back in a second. My durable earthlings are working away, and I have left food in my hand. Just great. <laughs> I, I love food though. I'm like, I'm like a foodie person. Let's actually zoom in a little bit and look at like, its house. So it has a scaffold thing. When you click on it, just activates this. I call this um, kill me mode because it, it's literally the brightest thing ever. <gasps> Purple place is achieved trap level one. Oh yeah. GG. Okay. My mind is faster now. My God, you just see it weaving in and out of the trees like purple plage. And I pressed the x-ray tool. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Right. I'll get on to those next episode. In the meantime, we sort of want to, well, I want to sort of finish setting up this one house. And now I need to make it through night two, which is the worst of all everything ever invented. It, it should not exist. It's like evil. You're not lying in a minute. Hmm. Right, anyway. Oh, there they are. Let's craft three of these benches. Let's go around the campfire. Tell campfire stories. It's gonna be awesome, that. <laughs> so now I should be getting them in. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna have them a little back in case someone does want to go full hobo and so on for. There we go. So actually, see how many people would sit down there, 
or run into this little cottage. I'll be on a nice little experiment. Experiments with Noramic. A certain half exclusive thing. Some fall of Gucci from a level one. So, this is like one, gonna be one of those series where I might aim to get my audience involved a little bit. So, if I get a new villager, like, if I get a new villager in the next episode, like, if you say you want to name a villager like that, you want a villager named after you, then I'll do it. Because this thing is, isn't going to be that like, little bit of creativity that I have in it. Like, I have high hopes for a series because, I mean, if it, if it isn't a good series, then why am I even bothering? Mathilda, 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 you're a boss. Yeah, the filter has successfully unlocked the tool bench. This, the filter is bay. I'm not trying to figure it out, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Boom. Ruffle and shield. I would have thought that I would have got that there. Is this it? Oh, that's a mason. Oh, we can do some awesome things for mason. Just wait a minute. I'll wait a few episodes, the mason is gonna be a giant part of this. Now, I saw a pond around here when I was well, I was right here it is. And this pond is gonna be something really nice. Like, I was thinking I could like maybe turn it into a giant river because um, like because I have, like a nice little mini river coming off this. Like, sure, if you heard things would drown, like I might sacrifice sand forth to the giant squid monster. But I mean, really, let's be honest, who wants sand forth in a town being a farmer? I mean, she's gonna go and probably hands all over everything. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Oh, poor sand forth. She fell asleep on the floor. This is why you eat the food you harvest. Hmm. Right. Oh, daily update. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Failing. Right, well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode off here. It's a great video. I promise I'll get one and new so not video out sometime this in 2016. But, like, so not have these, like, really unique physics where, like, um, like, you don't see these in any of the games. What you see is this brilliance created in um pixels and what you get is a result that is just so unique that you, you can't help but break the game anyway thanks for watching guys i've been the remic and peace out